Poem of the Week, number one, Two Daffodils by Robert Herrick, 1591 to 1674. Originally published on the 7th of April, 2021. Two Daffodils. Fair daffodils, we weep to see you haste away so soon, as yet the early rising sun has not attained his noon. Stay, stay, until the hasting day has run, but to the even song, and having prayed together we will go with you along. We have short time to stay as you, we have as short a spring, as quick a growth to meet decay as you or anything. We die as your hours do and dry away, like to the summer's rain, or as the pearls of morning's dew, ne'er to be found again. A poem for the spring now coming round again, albeit very hesitatingly this year in Stockholm. It snowed briefly this morning, and the forecast for the coming week is hardly less dismal. Metre and form. The verse is iambic, with the lines of varying length, eight, six, or two syllables in each. The shortness of the lines reflects the pared-down nature of the poem itself. Analysis. While certainly less known than Wordsworth's greatly overrated daffodil poem, Herrick's work is superior. It is one of those rare works whose sheer simplicity and honesty magnify the immediate effect on the reader, as a pretty little flower is best appreciated by not deracinating it. It feels like poems like this shouldn't be dissected and explained too much. Nonetheless, here come the pruning shears. The poet considers the temporality of daffodils, whose beauty lasts no longer than the spring. This is transferred in the second stanza onto human life. The tragedy of our lives is not just in its fleeting brevity or its decay, but also in its pettiness. The simile of the penultimate line as the pearls of morning dew it is reduced to something far more fleeting and minuscule even than that of the daffodils themselves. Oh, how well Herrick understood that April is the cruelest month. <laughs>